Welcome back to World Studies. We're finishing up chapter 16 with Roman numeral 5, Modernization in Meiji Japan. So far we've seen about the decline of the Ottoman Empire, the rise but struggle of Russia, the British control over India, and the humbling of China by Europe and Japan. Lastly, this chapter, we will talk about the modernization in Meiji Japan. Uh, Japan's methods were similar to China, the fact that they had isolated themselves from the rest of the world. But that all ended when Commodore Matthew Perry of the U.S. arrived. Perry, with the help of the modernized U.S. fleet, revealed to the Japanese quickly that they were far behind technologically. And so rather than shutting their door, or I should say continuing to shut the door out of pride, they will open their door because they realize fear will only lead them to defeat. The Treaty of Kanagawa opened Japan to trade with other nations. In a later visit, Perry brought with him several inventions that amazed the Japanese people. Included was a telegraph system as well as a miniature train and railroad track. The Japanese realized that they had much to learn if they were to catch up with the rest of the world. If you look at page 301, there's a purple box called Decision to Modernize Japan. Please read that box to yourself, and when you have finished, continue watching this video. All right, letter A, Impact of Western Ideas. The Japanese began to trade extensively with the West and learn about Western ideas and new developments in history. They built factories to make new products. The Japanese also sent some of their young men to the U.S. and Europe for further training. They studied Western governments, schools, and military. military excuse me. Letter B. The Meiji Restoration. Perhaps you've seen this word now a couple times. You've heard me say it. What does Meiji mean? The word Meiji means enlightened rule. It describes the emperor's reign of transforming Japan into a modern state. Feudalism, which had been the means of government in Japan, was now in the past. Uh, just to give you an example of how modernized, quote-unquote modernized, uh, Japan had become, take a look at this picture that's shown here. If you were to cover up his face and just see from the neck down the uniform, the sword, the outfit, the hat, the background, you would probably immediately think, oh, it's some European, right? Well, obviously, that's not the case. Um, Meiji was the emperor's reign of transforming Japan into a modern state. Look in your books, please, page 301, where it talks about Japan and Shintoism. On the side of your notes somewhere, I want you to write the word Shintoism down, and then I want you to read the purple box which talks about it. Now that you've finished reading about Japan and Shintoism, recognize the significance that Religion was also an important factor in the modernization of Japan. The fact of the matter is, Japan became the first nation in Asia to become industrialized. In addition, the Japanese developed a constitutional form of government. They also developed modern educational and judicial systems modeled after the West. And they established a modern, well-trained army and navy. Despite a lack of raw materials, the manufacture of modern weapons, and a modern navy quickly made Japan a powerful nation in Asia. Think about it. Over the course of about 50 years, Japan went from being a, what we might consider a primitive 
civilization to becoming the most powerful nation in Asia. Examples of it, they used the military against China during the Boxer Rebellion, and they fought China in the Sino-Japanese War and won. Okay, well, maybe it's impressive that Ch uh, Japan was able to weak, beat weak China, but uh, really, couldn't any European country do the same? What would really impress Europe would be if Japan could defeat one of them. Well, guess what? Letter C, the expansion of Japan. The world was astonished when Japan went to war against the European nation of Russia and won. Japan became known as a world power when it defeated Russia in what was known as the Russo-Japanese War. The West had to recognize that Japan was a force to be reckoned with. That, my students, is the end of the notes. What I want you guys to do for the remainder of today, the class period, is to work on page 137 and 138 in your activities book. 137 shows you a map of, well, Asia for the most part, and you need to use the maps from your chapter to find the answers listed. On page 138, it's a chapter review. This will help prepare you for the upcoming test. Uh, just a heads up, you are responsible for finishing the homeworks, the quiz, and taking the chapter 16 test before you turn the packet in the following Monday. So please make sure that you do this. Um, you still get graded for these assignments. Make sure that you get it taken care of. If you have any questions, please email me or uh, locate me on Skype. Just make sure that you are able to do the work that you need to do. Hope you all have a good rest of the day. Be good, do good.